Greetings, Keisha Langs. Keisha Meyer here with my live reaction of Four Nights of the Apocalypse, Chapter 38. <clears throat> the uh, last chapter left us with magic babies. <laughs> what is up with that power? It's almost a trope. Like, there's always the baby episode in a show, and, you know, like, there's all these variants of shows or properties that they make them babies, and it's like, hmm. It continues. <laughs> uh, well, it also happened recently. We saw a flashback in Mashal as well as him as a baby. He could build cap and, or cabinets at five months. Ridiculous. But anyway, so yes, we're in the Crystal uh, Grotto. I keep wanting to call it the Gato. In the Gato! Which is Spanish for cat. Weird. Um, but anyway, so yeah. Because apparently Ard's magic is time released. In a way. Okay, we got Percy here on the cover. The Rescue. Okay. And thank you, Wobble Sound Effects, for covering that baby Donnie Dick. Um, oh, I can't stand upright. We're totally turned back into babies. Oh no, was this the dimension ca or dimension okay? D uh oh, they're lo they're slowly losing their uh, intellectual faculties along with their physical capabilities. In motor skills. Uh, the talked about. Goo goo. Okay, well, Percy is, uh, he's gone. A little slow on the uptake, eh? Odd. My power can send all living things within 50 yards back to their, uh, infant forms. Huh. It's called reverse. I would call it the age. <laughs> the age of babies. <laughs> uh, okay, he's taking off his hood for some reason. I mean, we know what he looks like, so this isn't like <laughs> some dramatic reveal. <laughs> Y'all can't fight like that, can you? They can barely fucking talk and stand, so fighting is, yeah. yeah. This battle's mine. He's just gonna kill a bunch of babies. You fucker. Um, okay, so, uh, that, what's going on? P Puzzle, Donnie, we gotta get out of here now. Are these, like, the two oldest ones, and that's why they can still somewhat talk? Okay, Donnie's a blubbering mess, and Percival's fucking climbing... A crystal with a sword. Someone forgot to baby proof the grotto again. Um, ga ga guda. Ah. Well, frickin' Anne just face faulted about that. Why are you two both acting like babies? Wait, she can talk normally all of a sudden. It varies from person to person, but you'll revert mentally soon enough as well. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought it had to do with their relative ages. Though Donnie, to be honest, seemed like he was the oldest out of you, so it is weird that he would have reverted. But So I'm assuming you're, if you were a mentally sound person, intellectual and everything, it made sense. Like, it would take a little while longer to zap that away. But these two definitely were the weak links. Let's see here. She's like, no. And now she's crying. Ah, oh, and so is Nassian. Ga, ga, ga. <laughs> so he's just over there having a tantrum. Um, and now to fulfill my work. Wow, well, well, well done, Knight of the Apocalypse. Go. He's just smacking the sword. Even as a baby, you never cry. Bold, eh? Before I take care of you, I need to recover this dragon relief. He's just holding on to it, which thank you, God, for um, those sound effects because you are covering Percy penis. 
It's funny how I come up with that stupid joke twice. It's like, get, let go. What kind of super strength is this? Da da. I'm not playing with you. Hop hop. Don't climb on me. Damn it, kid. Knock it off or I'll. Well, weren't you gonna. Oh shit, he's peeing on you. Cuz I don't even know what that sound effect is. He looks just like. Oh god. Why, you impotent little freak? I'll. What? What's going on? Oh, Anne's grabbing. Anne? Uh, uh, you, you just wait here for me. Oh, he's tending to Anne. Listen to me, Anne. We have to dispatch the four knights of the apocalypse. As if... <laughs> like, come on, honey. We gotta do this. Don't worry. It'll be fine. I don't want to experience that again. And I don't want anyone else to. The apocalypse has happened before, or is he talking about, like, the Holy War? Because, I mean, the events would kind of be on similar levels, so, hmm. So please don't cry, all right? Ah, ah, I think he's starting to think of his own children. Yep, there's a baby. Wah, wah. What's wrong, uh, my little princess? Your papa's right here, okay? Yeah. Peekaboo, uh, don't cry, okay? Ha 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 You like it. Ah, uh, that, you gotta love that object impermanence, you know? Let's see here. Oh, the house burned down. Ardbeg, the village is done for. Take your daughter before the demons attack again. Ardbeg? The baby is dead. Oh, no. Oh, God, the bassinet just crumbled into dust. <laughs> so, okay, he's got motivations. I'll give him that. I mean, if I lost a child in this way, I probably wouldn't want anybody else to ever experience the, the same pain. So, But he's kind of going about it the whole wrong way. You know, oh, and he, he's just clutching and crying on Anne, and she's like, meh. Wipe them tears away. You're supposed to be human. Adult. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. And you're trying to comfort me. Ah. You sure are kind, but I got a job I have to pull off. Uh-oh. Percival's got his sword. And he's like... Meh. Ah. Papa. Goo. You even in that form? You're trying to protect Anne? And he fell over. Don't worry, you're only one, you're the only one dying here. I ain't touching the rest. Oh shit, the elders is like, you shall not harm these children in my presence. No, you don't have it in you to kill those children. Oh, never mind. The, the elder from the demon village? Is he going to reveal he's a demon or something? Like, come on, there has to be something to this man. Now I understand why you decided to live in a place like this. What? To heal the scars in your heart. You came here clinging to rumors and hope. Crystals have mystical force. They're... Mystic force. Um... The power ranger... Anyway. Uh, they've said to exist in the city of the dead as well. Thus, they are used for telling fortunes and casting hexes and other words. These, this crystal grotto is the place closest to the afterlife in our world. And Donnie's over here, like, fucking licking a goddamn crystal. Oh, for a minute, I thought uh, Art had put his thing back on, but no, it's still on the crystal. Uh, you wish to meet your dead daughter, and so you are here. Why did... Why do you know about... Uh-oh. He's going to reveal he's the demon that burned the village. <laughs> no, no, I'm just hiding in this grotto so I can carry out my mission of the sealing from your de or sealing your demons away. Let's make a deal. 
Undo the spell on these children and give me the crystal with the demons. Well, you're kind of fucking getting everything in this old man. What the fuck are you... He, he has to be the reason that Ard's village got destroyed. Because, like, the way his, uh... His, the words he speaks are in a whole different font and very demonic-like. It very indicates that he is probably the demon that burned down Ard's village and that's going to be the plot twist here. No! Don't tell me you have anything that would be equal exchange for that. I will let you meet your daughter. Okay, never mind. Not what I was thinking. Don't give me that. That's a bluff and you know it. You can't help me meet the dead. And Percival and Donnie are having a, a bubble making contest, I guess. I've lived here five years and I've never seen my daughter's spirit once. And who are you anyway? You ain't a demon. But you ain't affected by reverse spells, so you ain't human either. Okay. What the fuck are you, old man? <laughs> they are all 16. It took roughly 16 minutes for them to revert to infants. Oh, he is old as fuck then. That comes to one minute per year, but to neutralize the likes of me, you'd need well over 3,000 minutes. A good three days, in other words. Th you're over 3,000 years old? What are you? Very well, I'll show you. He is a demon! He dropped his staff, and what the fuck's he doing? He he's doing some kind of... Um, he, he's doing a pose. What the fuck is it? Why does this look familiar to me? What are you trying to do to me? What? I'm trying to figure out who the fuck this old man is. He is either a demon, which would make the most sense given, like I said, the font that he's always, uh, because like I was like, this dude's like a demon or something. Because eh, like his font was always like, had that air about it. And now I'm very much confirmed on that theory, but or almost confirmed, I should say, to be fair. So, because he's over 3,000 years old. Also, we learned more about Ardbeg's magic, that it it's a minute per year of reversing. So, which then makes me kind of wonder, um, you know, can he reverse you to, like, non-existence, or do you just stop at your first year? Or like a second of from your birth. Or after your birth or something. You know. So that's kind of interesting. Also that grotto really was pretty damn close. If it was only like less than 16 minutes away. Um, but yeah. So the elder presumably is most likely a demon. But I could see him as being some kind of other celestial race. You know, like, he's more likely a demon, but what if he's actually, an, you know, part of the goddess clan that was, con that you know, is a fallen angel in that regard? And that's why he was able to sympathize with the demons, because, like, he had that own darkness in his heart. But he was like, these demons, they have light in them, like I once had. You know, and it's like, I will build a place for these you know, and that's how the village was founded. You know, his kindness, or what was left of his kindness, and the goodness in them allowed this place to exist. And then he decided to protect them with, you know, presumably his great power. So, yeah. Hmm. At least that's my theory going on. But, like I said, he could just very well just be a demon. Which then, is he a character we've known before and he's just taking this human appearance? Or 
is he somebody completely new? Or like I said, the, the fallen angel concept. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, overall, not a bad chapter. We got, you know, Ardbeg's backstory, learning why he's, you know, going after this village in the first place. You know, it's due to his personal loss of his daughter, which, I mean, I guess he probably lost his wife prior to that. But maybe not. But there was never any mention of it, so it's really hard to say. But yes, uh, so there was that. Mixed with, we now know how his magic works. It's one minute per year of reversing you. Though, like I said, like is there a stopping point to this? And also the fact that it works differently on everybody, so, like, your mental faculties and everything will, you know, go away at different points. I assume it has to be, like, if you're an intelligent person, you're going to take a little longer to lose those faculties. But, hmm. But then you would think the motor skills aspect, like, if you're an athletic person, would that slow down your motor skill, you know... Uh, reversal, but I, uh, we haven't really seen that, so I wouldn't suspect that's part of it. But yeah, so he's at least got motivation, so he's a sympathetic villain, if nothing else. He's just trying to stop, you know, the continuation of the pain he felt to be experienced by other people. So, I mean, that's, that's understandable. But going around possibly killing babies is, uh, hmm. that's a dark one, I have to say, Ardbeg. You ain't gonna live that one down. But it's also kind of weird. I'm wondering, did he have magic when his child was still alive? Or was that a manifestation of his magic coming into being because of his daughter, like, he has reverse magic, but he seems to age you, de-age you into a baby. But, like, can he manipulate the how long that works or something? I don't know. Um, hmm. There's some questions about this. Uh, but, yeah, like, did his magic manifest and then it molded with his feelings of, you know, an infant, you know? And that's why he can reverse people's age to a baby. But, uh, yeah, that would actually be an interesting aspect of him. But either way, uh, let me know your own thoughts and opinions on this chapter. Anything I missed, misunderstood, please let me know down below. Check out my other content, see what you like, suggest things for the future. Um, I stream on Twitch where I do gaming, and I'll tweet out when I go live. Probably the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel, so go check that out. And as always, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, Kishlings. Ardbeg, the sympathetic son of a bitch, but also that elder, what the fuck is he?